Hello and welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today we're going to look at the menu filter action. We're going to create a menu. Come over here, going to create a calculated field. I'm going to call this menu index. And this is going to be just a constant so that I can link on this. So you have the menu index. We're going to bring this over under details. Let's see, we're going to call this shape. And I have a custom shape. Now we're going to call, go to shape, more shapes. I have a custom shape already saved. I'm going to select that. OK. And you'll see why I'm going to leave this here for now. There's a tooltip, but now we're going to come over to the dashboard. Well, let's just let's rename this one menu so we don't forget what this is. And we're just going to do a little cleanup, hide the title, I'm going to increase the size a little bit. All right, so now we're going to come under the by year dashboard. These are three dashboards, basically, there's are one worksheet that I've put on a separate dashboard each. So now we're going to add as floating. Although you could add it as tiled, we're going to grab this menu, we're going to bring it over here, get rid of the, the title, you know, get the box a little bit better. So now we have a, a worksheet here. Now we're going to come to the dashboard actions. Okay, actions, and we're going to add another action, filter. We're going to call this, where is the worksheet? Go to backers and days. Okay. We want it only to trigger off of the menu worksheet. We want it to be a menu. And we're going to go, we're not going to go to the by year, we're going to go to the backers and days. I'm just going to show all the values, all fields, and click OK. We're going to add another one. We're going to do filter again. This is this time. Let's go to successful. Once again, it's just going to be the menu worksheet, the menu option. Change this to the successful campaigns worksheet. And we're going to show all the values. Okay. Now when you click on here, you can see there's a tooltip already. We can go back and get rid of it. And now we've got two um, options, kind of like a menu, a drop-down menu. Let's click Go to Backers and Days. There we go. Now I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to add these menu bars to all the other, well, to these other two worksheets or dashboards so you can see what it looks like going back and forth. Okay. Okay. I've added it to the other sheets, the backers and days, successful campaigns. So now when you click on the menu icon, you'll see the other um, dashboards that you can click to. Go to backers and days, click this, go to by year, or go back to successful campaigns. Okay, great. Just a couple things. The order, it's alphabetical. Now one way you can get around this is you can uh, rename or reorder your worksheets. Sometimes that's not very practical. Or you can put a number in front, 1-2-3- so that way you're ensured that the order is always going to be the same. The other thing that you need to be aware of is that you're actually selecting and deselecting this because it's a tooltip. So when you go to go to back to the backers, if you click it once, you can't hardly tell here, but I just deselected this particular item and now I've reselected it. And so that could become a little bit of a hassle to you. If it does, so I deselected and selected again. If it becomes a hassle, there is 
a website with a little bit more involved um, linking and tables that you need to bring in that you can get it so that it just responds quickly. Uh, should be showing up, the information to the blog post should be showing up and that's something you can check out. But otherwise you've now got some dashboards, you've got drop down menus you can use and you know how to use the menu actions. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and the little bell to be notified when new videos are released.